HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Sid Smith. And I'm Jack here with your daily newscast for Friday, November 30th, 2018. Today's newscast is sponsored by SkyZone and Fishers off 121st Street. If you haven't been to SkyZone lately, go check out the new Warrior Course, SkyJust, or Free Climb Wall. The Coral Department presents its annual holiday program tonight at 7 p.m. in the Leonard Auditorium. If you were lucky enough to get a ticket for this sold-out event, Tis the Season will be an entertainment extravaganza filled with joy and celebration, and of course, singing and dancing. Best of luck for an amazing performance. Today is the last day to turn in a Mr. Royal application by 2.55 p.m. to Mrs. McGrath in J113. HSC is hosting a Holiday Lights Recycling Drive until December 20th. Please bring in your Holiday Lights strands. A box will be under the stairs in the main concourse. Seniors, Friday, December 7th is the last day to submit senior quotes for this year's yearbook. Use the senior quote survey found on Canvas in the class of 2019 or on the HSC News Twitter. The uniform application for community scholarships are offered exclusively to HSC and FHS students. Scholarship packets are available on the HSC website or in the guidance office. Guidance updates and adds new scholarships throughout the year, so make sure to check out and visit Naviance. HSC is having a jewelry sale from the 4th to the 6th. Let's take a look at this segment to see what it's all about. Did you know that HSC is a jewelry class? Have you ever wanted to own student-made art? Ms. Beatty and her students have been working hard and are ready to sell their art. The class will be selling their jewelry during the HSC jewelry sale from December 4th to the 6th. Let's take a look at what will be for sale, how it's made, and what the jewelry class is all about. I'm most excited about showing people what we actually do in jewelry. You know, we pull out our torches and we like, we saw stuff and we hammer and it's like actually hard work. So I think that'd be really cool to like show people what we actually do in this class. My hope is that this sale will uh, increase awareness about this tiny little class we have here in the art department so that more people will sign up and take it and we can kind of develop both the culture and the class that it creates. I really like the idea of usable and like wearable art and being able to create things for my friends and family was like a big motivation for taking this class. I'm looking forward to doing more with soldering and putting a lot more things together. We are excited to announce our very first HSC jewelry sale. So if you've ever wanted to own student-made jewelry, this is your chance. We're going to be selling pieces ranging from $5 to $20. It's your chance to come out and support local artists. Our students in Jewelry One are excited to have their work on sale. It's also for a great cause. The profits will be benefiting Riley. Swing by our tables. We're going to be outside the art hallway. You can even tour our jewelry studio during the sale. We'll be on sale during all lunches, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, December 4th through the 6th. For more information about the sale, you can refer to these posters placed all around the school. For HSC TV, this has been Alex Brammer and Paige Cope. And now over to club news. Thanks, Jack. Tonight is Latino Dance Night, sponsored by the Latino Student Union, tonight from 4 to 6 p.m. in the LGI room. Food, music, and fun. Bring a friend to learn how to dance all the Latin dances from salsa to merengue, bachata, reggaeton, and more. The cost is just $5. The GSA will hold their annual holiday party on Wednesday, December 5th at the Gathering Stairs. Everyone is welcome to attend. Royals, make sure to stay tuned after sports as we will be leaving you with a short video for Project Hope's fundraiser next week. That's all I have for Club News. Hope you're having an excellent Friday. And now over to your Southeastern Sports Network. How's it going, HSC? I'm Tony Kasiri. And I'm Gavin Thomas. Welcome back to SSN, your number one source for all Royal Athletic News. Show us some love and follow us on Twitter at Southeastern Capital S Capital N. Now to your news. Uh, girls basketball plays tomorrow at Dixie Heights. So show them some love, uh, make your way out there and support our girls. Um, also, the HSC uh, bowling team last night Woo! beat Cathedral. Big win for the, bo or the bowling team. And then tonight. Tonight's a big game. A I want to see game. a lot of people there tonight. Was this the first? The first home game. First home basketball game for the boys. What boys time Boys basketball, 7.30. 7.30. Against Avon at <laughs> here, HSC. I want to see people here. Pool party's a theme. Let's get everyone Let's in the get stands a big crowd. tonight. Let's also, get everyone the boys' stands. basketball play tomorrow at Fort Wayne, Nor at Fort Wayne North Side. Yeah, but we want to go to the game tonight. Uh, also, uh, commercial after the uh, commercial after the show. So, everybody have a great weekend, Royals. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>
Hey guys, Project Hope is having a candy gram sale through the week of December 3rd. You can come and purchase these candy canes for only a dollar. I said all the lunches all week. Hi, my name is Lexi Kaner and I'm the president of Project Hope. Our goal at Project Hope is to help students in our building prosper every day by providing toiletries and food to those in need. Project Hope candy canes! Who's it for? It's for you, Mrs. Cole Savage. Oh, that's really sweet. Aww. Thanks. Who is it? Project Hope candy canes for Cam Fowler. Hey, you're cute. Got a snap? Mmm. <laughs> Project Hope candy grams. Yay. Oh my god. Spread the cheer this holiday season and buy a Project Hope candy cane outside all lunches December 3rd through the 7th for $1. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.